This is what the future is gonna look like. Robotaxi, self-driving cars, autonomy is finally here, guys. So just a little glimpse of what uh, it's gonna take place. Actually, my Robotaxi is here right now. Um, so yeah, why don't you, uh, why don't you follow, follow me back to the office and then uh, kind of give you a uh, breakdown. And that's how it's going to be. All right, let's jump right into it. What does this mean when you're buying a car now with Tesla? Just think about it. You just go on your phone, you click the car you want, order now or whatever, and then it says ETA, two days or next day delivery to your house. Not on a flatbed truck, not on a trailer, but the car by itself, no technician, no Tesla employees, no more hassle, no more going to the dealership, haggling prices and stuff like that. This is the future of the car buying experience. It gives more control to the dealer on pricing and everything, and then it shows the true demand. If people want it, they're gonna buy it. The fact the only time you maybe go into dealership is you actually wanna see the car, you wanna test drive the car, so that'll still be a viable option and something you, you definitely wanna check out in person, you just wanna see if you like the car, like the seats, the experience, it's not for everyone. And I think this will be a differentiator of setting Tesla apart yet again from the competition. Where does Tesla stand with autonomy? We just had Robotaxi launch on June 22nd. It was Sunday. My daughters and I, we went and go check it out. It was pretty nice in South Congress in the car driving by itself. But what does it really mean? Is it fully approved to full autonomy where you could lay down, fall asleep, take a nap, whatever, or just send your car off to pick up your family from the airport or your kids from school, whatever you know situation you have going on? Does it mean that full autonomy is here? Well, not necessarily. There's still gonna be tons of regulation approvals to go through, but I feel like we're just getting closer and closer. The fact that Tesla was, I would assume, allowed to go from Giga Texas factory all the way to that person's house, it was almost like a like a 30 minute drive, probably at least like 20, 25 minutes. The whole video, if you do the long version, is 30 minutes long. So to me, it's showing that the autonomy is already here. I think the red tape is the only thing that's going to be in the way. And rightfully so. We want to make sure this is safe. We want to make sure we don't have some crazy robot out there going, you know, 100 miles an hour in a school zone. When you get in a Tesla, there's just something different about it. There's an experience that you've never really felt. The fact that there's hardly any buttons anywhere. It's just one screen. It's simplified. It's to the point to get you from point A to point B safe. Safely, and when you arrive, you arrive in a better state. You're less fatigued, you're more comfortable because the entire drive, whether it's 10 minutes or an hour and a half, you haven't had to engage one bit. You haven't had to really pay attention. I mean, you have to look forward, but a lot of times I catch myself zoning out. So I feel like autonomy is already here. It's just through the red tape and the regulatory services and concerns that we have, which are important. That is the only thing holding us back. And finally, let's talk about robo-taxis. Where is robo-taxi? The launch was June 22nd, but what does that really mean? It seems like it was just a quick trial period. It did maybe a couple miles through South Congress in Austin, but it didn't really like take someone to, hey, pick me up at my house, take me to date night. That's what we feel and believe robo-taxi really is. And I know Elon, or M, that's what I call him, Elon Musk, I know M and his team and everybody else that's a fan of Tesla, they really want to see if it's going to deliver what we think it would. And even their critics too. No one's going to be like, you know, jumping at the fact that, oh, it went to this little designated area geofence. Like, yeah, it's pretty cool, but it's not anything amazing out of the norm. I expect to be able to go to to and from work, just like an Uber, but without a driver. So imagine being able to go to the airport, uh, appointments for work. Essentially, you never have to buy a car, whether it's unlimited rides, they'll probably have a subscription there, but then they'll probably have like, you know, pay as you go, $5 a ride, $10 a ride. You know, it's gonna be, a. you would assume that it would be a lot cheaper because there's no driver to be paid and you don't have to tip. But it's definitely an exciting glimpse of the future that we're getting that much closer to what we really wanted in a robo-taxi experience.